Mic check. Two one two. Two one two. Check two one two two one two. Can y'all hear? Oops, and we're having frame drops. Just to enable performance mode.
how do you enable performance mode? Because Yeah, I don't know how to clear on performance mode. An editor context menu. Where the hell is that? Okay, I have no clue what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> and so, if things happen, things happen. Do not adjust your screen. I've just temporarily taken over your PlayStation. I'm Maggie, your host, here to introduce you to all the cool things you'll receive for being part of the PlayStation Underground. You can look forward to receiving the 411 on new game releases, special offers, plus demos and videos of the latest titles. And you can sign up to receive hot news email announcements at SCEA.com. Click on the Get Connected link and you're good to go. While you're checking out what's inside, I'll be passing the word. So many gamers, so little time. Yeah, so apparently... Saying I'm having drop frames.
Hmm, seems to be going fine. So, I think we're good to go. So I just looked at my Twitch stream on my phone, and it seems like we're going good. So, got cool moves. Constellation and the vault. This cool move is for Legend of Dragoon. I'm going to show you how to open the locked chest in the Phantom Ship. Here we go. In the Phantom Ship, there is a chest that says uh, evil may come to the person who attempts to open the treasure chest. There's a combination lock on this chest. To get the combination, leave the room where the treasure chest is. Go down to the lower right-hand corner of the screen, and then make your way over to the staircase that leads down to the lower deck of the ship. In the lower deck of the ship, you'll find a hallway filled with ghosts and several doorways you can enter. You must fight your way through the ghosts in the hallway to get to the door all the way in the far right-hand side of the hall. Once you get into the room at the end of the hall, make your way into the upper right-hand corner of the room where there's a small sparkling bit on the floor. Oh, Press the X button to inspect this, and you'll be visited by four ghosts. Each ghost will tell you a different number. Take note of these numbers. For three of these four numbers are the solution to the combination. Now that you're equipped with the clues that'll help you solve the combination lock, make your way back through the hallway to the upper deck of the ship. The first time you attempt to open this chest, you'll get 10 tries. If you're unsuccessful in choosing the combination within 10 tries, the chest will lock up on you and you'll have to go get new clues from the ghost in the lower deck. Using the numbers that the ghosts in the lower deck of the ship told you, rearrange the numbers until you find the correct combination. Whenever you input the incorrect combination, you might see three dots appear on screen afterwards. Hey. This indicates hey. that one or more of the Are numbers you, you chose was yeah, the correct number and was oh, in the correct right position right. for the combination. <laughs> this will help you know you're on the right track when you're trying to By the way, uh, me and my wife, we have a collab channel now, too. So, so I would announce that. And that's how to open the combination chest inside the Phantom Ship on Legend of Dragoon. Yeah. You can repeat this also, up to six times, frames. but each time yeah, you do, I know. the chest will reset, Although, which means you'll have to go below deck and get new clues here. from the ghost. Actually, pull up the stream on your phone and tell me if to input the numbers anything, the combination resets like, just time. tell me in chat Good if luck. anything seems stuttery. Alright, I will go do that right now. That's why I start these off with the uh, FMVs. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I got it on my left now, not on the right. So it's more easy to spot. Alright, we got one for Spyro Year of the Dragon next, and then Gran Turismo 2, then Siphon Filter 2, then Medieval 2. I'm having my uh, sweetheart and lovely assistant from my wife um, check and see if the stream stutters at all, visually. Since this is going to be the um, streaming PC for the meanwhile, because my main rig is having some issues. So I'm using the laptop as backup. And this thing doesn't have as much power. It has about as much power as my wife's current desktop at the moment. Minus an extra 8 gigs of RAM. So... Welcome to another exciting edition of Cool Moves. This week, we'll look into Spyro, Year of the Dragon. I'm going to show you how to get on top of the temple in Frozen Altars. Make your way from the beginning of the level 
up this staircase and around this corner where you'll come to a ledge you can glide from. From here you can glide onto the temple. Just line yourself up on this corner with the corner of the temple in view, then charge over the edge, jump, glide, and flutter at the end to get on top of the temple wall. From here, you can make your way to the top of the temple, or you can glide to another egg, and that's how it's done. Now on to Gran Turismo 2. The cool move I'm going to show you today is the corkscrew turn from Laguna Seca on Gran Turismo 2. Basically, the corkscrew turn is one of the hardest turns to execute. What you need to do is approach it towards the right-hand side or more of the outside lane. You need to slow down, shift it to a lower gear, and drop down. And you can cut a little bit without being penalized for taking that turn. So give it a shot. OK. Will do. Mic check. Oh, wait. I am doing desktop audio by accident. Mic check. 212, 212. Oh. Okay, let me see here. If by some odd chance. I have a 16 gig card here. I could probably move some stuff to and freeing up some space on the other drive. Seeing if that helps a bit. Yeah, this is the inaugural stream with the laptop. So now I, uh, the buttload of ROMs on here initially because I was gonna turn this into a PlayStation Classic. That's a good Two micro or the SD card slot. Registering as empty. Let's see here if. Okay, 5 gigs in PSP ROMs. Let's go back. Put that into the SD card. Gig of that. That can go to here. Yeah, I should have done this yesterday. <laughs> so if I free up some space, I should be able to have less issues. Super Nintendo. PS2 ROMs, I can't really do too much about at the moment. Oh, wait. I have that one on my PS3. That one's on my PS3. That one's on my PS3. I think I'll put it all. Yeah.
There we go. Two files. Let's see if that helps at all. Alright, we're going to be going to Siphon Filter 2. Okay, honey, keep on the stream and keep letting me know here. Because I'm about to go to this other FMV. move to get off the rooftop in the New York slums level for Siphon Filter 2. What you want to do here is come up onto this fan. Make sure you select a powerful weapon with enough uh, ammo. I have a couple of guards up here that you're going to want to take out. Go ahead and take them easily out with headshots. Have one there on, on the level of the rooftop that you're on and the one below. Pick up any flak jackets and ammo that they have. Then come over here to this ledge on top of the roof. Turn around and drop down below. And use your L1 button to see an awning down below that says clean rooms, low rates. Drop down to that area there. And this will get you down in the street area in the New York slums level. So you can go ahead and continue on. And that's how it's done. This cool move is for a Medieval 2, the level Greenwich Observatory. I'm going to show you how to solve the puzzle just inside the docks area. In the docks area, you'll come to a room with four switches. Each of these switches has a meter above it, and you can change the positions of the meters by using your hammer on the switches. The solution to this puzzle is actually in the next room, and can only be seen if you stand here where it glows blue, Hold down L1 and triangle to remove Dan's head. Then press L1 and triangle again to switch to the point of view of Dan's head. Once this is done, you can press the R2 and L2 buttons to look inside the chamber and see the solution to the puzzle. Here we can see that you need to set the first and second switches to the full position and the third and fourth switches to the barely full positions. The key to this puzzle is losing your head. Then we can press L1 and triangle to return to control of Dan's body and set the switches to the correct positions. The solution to the puzzle is random each time you play the game, so you'll have to do this yourself to solve this puzzle in Greenwich Observatory. And that's how it's done. Hmm. If I set this to low latency mode, maybe that might help. Hold on. Let's see here. Okay. Um, 
Well, he had to go to Download Station next. Peace Combat 3, Incredible Crisis, 007 The World Is Not Enough, The Jungle Book, Rhythm and Groove, an Ultimate Fighting Championship. I didn't even know there was a UFC game for PS1. I don't know. I'll just see who's on the roster when I get to that. Alright, I gotta bring one of the dog's toys. Apparently I grabbed the wrong fucking toy. Yeah, let me see here if anything else can possibly be done. Oi, 87%. Oh yeah, CPU is like completely fucking maxed out. Microsoft Edge doing anything? I'm not even using fucking Microsoft Edge. Okay, fuck right off me. Skype? The fuck you doing on here? I replaced your ass with Discord years ago. Actually, let me double make sure of that. Alright, this is a fresh install. Windows. 
Of course, this is going to be the problem. Skype? Bye bye. Yeah, I think that's the best I'm gonna fucking do. Oi, 92%. Okay, let's see if turning off the preview window helps much. Come on. This one's gonna be a fucking hour. Okay, so as we are gonna be looking here at these demos, we got Disney's Atlantis, Aladdin, and Nazira's Revenge, Spider Man 2, and Terry Electro. X-Men Mutant Academy 2. I don't know if this one ever released. Barbie Explorer. Yes, folks, we are going to be playing a Barbie game today. <laughs> NFL Game Day 2002 and Twisted Small Brawl, Small Brawl, Dragon Warrior 7. I don't know if Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest, I don't know if they're the same game. Someone can correct me in chat or in the comment section when this goes up on YouTube in April. Um, Yeah, I wish I had the dough to get, like, a razor blade stealth. Or something that was, like, really good. That I could have, like, an external GPU on and all that. You know? <laughs> to the behest of myself and, uh... My wife, I'm almost considering a slightly older MacBook Pro. And running off Mac OS. <laughs> Just to do streams. Okay, so the Super Nintendo folder is almost done.
So we got like two Disney games. And for a bit, Spider-Man would have been part of the Disney Empire because they have Marvel. Um, but because of the whole deal with Sony at the moment, <laughs> it's not anymore. I think I might have to get a USB based memory card reader or something for my uh my poor little HP or better power supply. Actually I might recycle the power supply out of my streaming rig. Just as a slight sacrifice. I don't know. And I lost the Wi-Fi card and the uh, HP also doubles as a Bluetooth, which I really want to happen. Ooh. I dropped to boot it up on Windows just to see if it has Bluetooth or not, because um, at the moment Bada Sarah won't tell me shit. I don't know if there's a way within Bada Sarah to figure out if I have Bluetooth or not. This is uh, my grandpa's old rig that I'm currently kind of futzing around with to make it a uh, gaming rig at the moment. Like a budget build gaming rig. All it needs is RAM and a video card, and it's set. Thing is, I'm gonna need like a 5 terabyte hard drive for that thing to really make it effective because uh, let's see here because I got 250 gig boot drive SSD a 250 gig drive to store my video editing stuff on or videos that need to be edited and put together and then a 500 gig drive for God knows what. Um, or no, that's in our games drive. And then I have a two terabyte that have like partitioned 250 gig. Or no, that's the one that has the extra. Two. But I have about like. Two and a half terabytes worth of space on there, but I'm gonna need about like five for the HP. A bit for Windows, no, it's bullshit, and then have all the games on it and see what it can do and see if I led my grandpa <laughs> down the wrong path. I don't know. Because, uh, thing is, I set him up with. A FX8350, a GTX 962 gig, and a um, an 8 gigs RAM that was recycled from that HP. When it's not an OEM board, although we were trying to save as much money as possible, so. Yeah. And then he had to upgrade his power supply for the 960. 
Jealous of Boner 35. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, once these file transfers are done with, this should be good to go. I'm just killing time right now. While well, these file transfers are going on. So. Now, Twist Metal Small Brawl. Initially, it was actually going to be called Twist Metal Kids, believe it or not. And I'm an insane fan of the Twist Metal series. I actually started out, not on the original, but I started on Twist Metal 3. And 4. Those are the most reviled and just hated versions of Twisted Metal. Just because they seem to be like rush jobs done by 989 Studios. Um, but, I mean, they had a kicking soundtrack with it too. So. You know, in a lot of ways, I'm not going to fault them. Oh, what they did, because it played well, in my opinion. And still bugs. Like, it's not the same play style as uh, Twist Mill 1 or 2, or Small Brawl, Black, or. Uh, head on, or for that matter, uh, Twist Metal 2012, I think. The reboot. Or basically, what, what I consider is the prequel to Black. Um, because there's actually a cutscene. It was a deleted scene in, uh, I can't remember which character's ending, but or if there's an exact one of the three characters. Yeah, Dollface, Sweet Tooth, and Grim. And one of them had an ending where the preacher ends up in the insane asylum. Because they think he's a lunatic at this point. With all his preaching and whatnot. And so... <laughs> which then kind of leads into Twist Mill Black. Because that's where the preacher starts. Is in the asylum. So... If you're going storyline wise... If you're doing it for the story... Play Twisted Metal PS3, then Twisted Metal Black. Because let me tell you, Twisted Metal Black is hard as balls. Unless you have the God Mode cheat on. I know I get a lot of shit for possibly having cheats on. But, you know, it is what it is. And I ain't too ashamed of it. So, actually, around the same time, the PlayStation Underground was going on. There was also an official PlayStation magazine, which also had its own demo discs, um, which I'll be getting to those much later.
Okay. Now I got about like seven minutes left of this file transfer shit to go. And then we're golden. Or at least I think. Because, let me double check here, what possibly could also be taking up a bunch of RAM here in CPU usage. Oh, Windows Security Notifications. That could be doing it. So on that note, so I actually have some common sense. I'm actually turning off my virus protection right here on stream. No, that's not turned on. And this, folks. This, folks, is why I prefer console gaming over PC gaming. You will have problems out the wazoo regarding drivers, your CPU performance. If you want to stream your PC game, you've got to almost have like a $2,000 fucking rig like Slayer Isaiah has to be able to actually stream your PC games. Plus, primarily, a lot of PC games don't have controller support, so thus you're stuck with keyboard and mouse. Unless you can reprogram that shit using something like Rewazd or um, Joy to Key, which is hard as hell to config, XPatter, XBCD, which I sort of remember using on the Mac back in the day like I've dabbled in PC gaming I can understand how much of a value it can be but at the same time there's so much fucking hoops to jump through and so much of a financial barrier if you're also wanting to stream at the same time as game, at the same time on your PC. Like, either you have to have two Athlon X4 rigs, one to stream the other, or you know, but you're still looking about six hundred dollars, six seven hundred dollars right there, or get a one to two thousand dollar rig with a fucking i7 or i9, sixty four gigs of fucking RAM, and 
you know, a fucking titan. Like, that's the only way I could see this being capable of happening for me. Is if I could ever afford that. But thing is, I can't. Because I'm stuck living off RSDI. Because I can't find a fucking job. Nowhere seems to want to fucking hire me. Regardless of what I do. I say all the right shit at the interviews. You know, I do everything I can to try to get a job. But nothing fucking works. And my sweetheart is watching Ace Trainer Liam right now. And his Siri battle let's play. Or Siri plays Pokemon. Okay, let's see here if that helps any. And if that doesn't, I think it'll solidify the factor that this laptop is not really cut out for this. Because I'm still at 100 CPU usage. What the fuck else is taking up CPU usage? I don't know how to deactivate Cortana. That shit needs to fucking go. Die. Like, I'm gonna have to figure out how to disable Cortana for good. OneDrive and task. Photos and that shit. Your phone. Don't need that. I think. Okay, we got obs.exe or obs64.exe going at 66% and then Streamlabs going at 10. So I don't know what the fuck else is causing this. How to enable performance mode in the editor context menu on Streamlabs OPS. to enable performance mode. Tell me. Someone 
fucking tell me. With your chipper chamber. Okay, so it's telling me Hmm. Yeah, for some odd reason. get into performance mode. Ought to have uh Marty help me out on that because he should be coming at some point this week. But we're at 44% skipped frames. 
And I don't think there's much I can do about this at the moment. Because... Fans... Yeah, looks like we're boned. Cause I wanted to give my sweetheart a performance boost on uh, her PC. So, yeah, I kind of had to make a sacrifice for her. This being one of them. just have to go and stream the way it is at the moment. I'll try and fix things, but I don't guarantee anything. If I play in a bigger hard drive, I don't know what I have to do for this. The fire trial. The fire gem should be here. Uh, according to the journal, the gem is found behind a So uh, we're on to Disney's Atlantis. We'll have to find some way to move it if we're to Where we're boned or not. You know. That's where the streaming goes. Yeah. We're boned. Okay, now we're not. I think we're good now. Maybe a bit laggy, but I'll have to deal with it as is.
Okay, now how the fuck do we get over there? Alright, you have to make a noise at every point. And you duck. That makes absolutely no sense, sir. Oh, motherfucker. Fucker. We're supposed to get to, oh, we're supposed to get to that. Which mm. one took it? Ooh shit. This is Atlantis, not Indiana Jones. Checkpoint activated. Oh shit. We had suicide yet again. Damn it! Either I overshot that jump or something else. Ah! Oh! Oh. Okay, that makes no sense in the look of it. Many objects can be pushed and pulled by stronger characters like Vinny and Milo. Try pushing this rock.
This is a fucking kid's game. And I'm losing spectacularly at this. Does it take to kill your sorry ass? Now you're too far. Yeah, just fucking kill me. Or, uh, yeah, screw it. Screw it. Oh, hey, Marty, what's up? Ugh, first time in a long while streaming with that laptop, and let me tell you, I, I don't know if you notice it, but yeah, having some stream stutter. Having a hard time with this level 
in a kid's game, nonetheless. And this is just the first demo of today. On this disc. And I can't seem to figure out, for the life of me... Yeah, I can... I can see the chat, man. I actually got the chat now on the left instead of the right. So I can actually look at it a little bit easier from my gameplay screen. As for hearing chat, I don't know what you mean, unless you're doing text-to-speech super chats, which I don't have the capability of at the moment, because I don't have subscriber capabilities. So, right now, the game demo we're playing is for Atlantis The Lost Empire. It seems to be a ripoff Indiana Jones that's like a ripoff Tomb Raider that's kind of a ripoff of Zelda. I don't know how else to describe this shit. Like, this game is just ass. Oh, the graphics are nice and everything. Voice acting is spot on with the original cast. Music. I don't know, but this particular level, this is worse, absolutely worse, than the fucking water temple in Ocarina of Time. I'm sorry, but Ocarina of Time's water temple is easier than this shit I'm having to go through right now. Hey man, well thanks for the raid anyways. You know? <laughs> like, I acknowledged it, because I guess I'm like, oh yeah! But, uh, yeah, thanks for the extra viewers. Um, th this game, just... How can we screw up on a Disney title? Like, for real. Just... How? <laughs> Diverse levels of ass. Like, come on. This wasn't even worth the plastic it was printed on. And mind you. Hey! Ten Shed F43? Ten Shed 43? I don't know. How do I pronounce your name? <laughs> Thankfully, I was never a teacher. Yeah, if it's skipping frames, I'm sorry. I'm having to stream off my laptop because my desktop has absolutely no RAM in it. Um, because my sweetheart, she was getting sick and tired of how slow <laughs> was the PC version any better? Since you've played it, like, tell me in chat, how was it? Now, I will say here, the only Aladdin game I've ever played, though. Oh, it's Disney FPS. 
Zira's Revenge, Aladdin. Let's get to it. <laughs> ah, Shade. Okay. Ten of Shade, 43. Okay. Now, the last Aladdin game I actually ever played was... Aladdin on the Sega Genesis, which was actually a really good side-scrolling platformer. It was like spot on. Did you know that you can daze guards, dispose of enemies, and hit targets by throwing apples at them? You have to put your sword away using triangle, and then press the circle button. Then you need to sneak to the apples as the vendor sleeps. But be really careful. If he wakes and sees you taking his apples, he'll take all your apples away. Uh, screw it. I'm gonna do hack and slash. We're gonna break some pottery just like we do in uh, Legend of Zelda, because this is kind of a Zelda farm. Can we wall draw? No, but uh, we can sort of clip to it. <laughs> All right. Ah, there we go. They tempt the gate guard with something from the baker. This is far better than Lannis. I said we're talking console games. Yeah, I'm gonna break all your pottery. I don't give a shit. Can we line up this jump? Nope! Okay, yes, Genie. And what you were saying. But, uh, what's up with you, Tennis Shade? Break all the pottery. Oi! That was a glitch in the Matrix. Thank you. 
Mm. I actually believe I remember briefly playing this for a short time when I was in here. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> well, that's what I'm playing this on right now. Shut up. Oh, that's for health. Okay. Can I trip this guy up? Now the question is, who did they get to voice act the genie in this? Was it the same guy who did the voice for the genie in Kingdom Hearts, or did they get Robin Williams? That's my question. Alright, bro. I hit the X button too late. And I died. Okay, this seems pretty decent for a platformer. I'm not going to say it's the absolute best as far as Disney platformers go. I think that would have to go to Toy Story 2, personally. But now we're going to be going on to one of my favorite, like, childhood favorites. Uh, for a demo of it. Which, I might play later, the full version. Because uh, I have it. Yeah, Spider-Man 2, Enter Electro. Question is, which level is the demo going to drop me off on? Instant action. I don't know what that did. Oh. Oh, we got this. Ah, uh, so this is kind of like uh, Metal Gear VR missions. I never did instant action on the full version. So I had no clue what this was. I'm wishing to know this was still a thing. Uh, Toy Story 2 is a decent SMB4 style game. So, 
Oh, hey. I think this is just to beat up as many enemies as possible, kind of like a horde mode, before a horde mode was a thing. But this is just my guess here about instant action. I don't know. Spiked web fists. Easiest way to two shot an enemy rather than three shot. Okay, yeah, because it's seven, a bunch of like. Okay, so this is just a training mode. Which man? <laughs> Oh, Super Mario 64. Okay. Okay. Welcome, true believers. Stanley here. Oh, hey. Stanley of superhero daring do. Now it appears that trouble has found our arachnid hero yet again. So get ready for a pulse-pounding, web-slinging tale of shocking revelations. Uh, that's my trusty spider compass. It shows me where to go when I'm out and about. <laughs> Me. I'm just doing some art stuff. Welcome, true believers. Stanley here. Hi, who have you been talking to? Oh, uh, we got Teen Chain, 42, and Marty. Hi, Marty. Hi, Teen Chain. 42. Uh, I don't you having fun? Yeah. This gives me more weapons. So I did a video earlier, an unboxing video, and unfortunately, I got a dupe. So I'm doing a giveaway. So if y'all have a little sister, or you are a girl or boy, who happens to like cute squishies, go to my channel. Because I do have a giveaway going. Spider sense tingling. But it ends October 3rd. That means trouble for yours truly. Oh yeah, you can also like suicide drop like that to get on to some enemies as well. Ooh, I hear the five oh. Yeah, the last two times I've been playing a Spider Man demo I've been trying to speed run. The parts they are really new.
It's kind of cool looking back at uh, the old Spider Man. Oh, 43, not 42. Yeah, sorry about that. God! And that's, folks, why I'm not a teacher. The only thing that's really annoying with this game is the camera. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was near to the end. And that shit happens. And this is actually one of the few games that got affected uh, due to the events of 9-11, actually. Originally, they actually had the final battle between Spider-Man and Electro take place on the Twin Towers. They had a line about uh, the top of the world or something. And... That was omitted and the level was edited afterwards just trying not to offend anyone. Which at first when I heard about Spider-Man 2 getting edited like this, I thought it was because there was going to be a level of trying to save people from an attack and they didn't want to portray a terrorist attack, or at least that's how I thought it was. Did you get any comments about what I said? No. No, I want you to stay in the room. Come here, Mabel. And just for no, I always actually put on the unlock everything cheat or unlock all costumes cheat. And used uh, the Captain Universe skin, which uh, gives you unlimited webbing. Which then, because apparently uh, swinging around the city also uses up your webbing, so. You injure me, me? 
You are a heavy demon. I guess I have to kill all these guys. Oh, I have a tag. I didn't even know I didn't have this. Going out when I yes. Yeah, that's not that's almost kind of dark. I mean, as a brightness. This. Needs brightness level up a bit. God. Hush, being dead. Damn, I was hoping to get a sneak strike on your ass and one shot you. I love watching me work. You're a bit cocky, aren't you, Spider-Man? <laughs> You're a bit cocky for yourself. Those guys are up to something. Time to save the day or evening. Oh, baby. Ah, has to go through two levels this time, not just the one. Bondo should fix things here. There. Oh, yeah, this part. I bet those guys weren't working alone. I'd better patrol the area to be sure. Yeah, my wife's still waiting to get her Nintendo Switch back. And, uh, so, until then. Multiplayer Mario Kart streams are kind of on hold. Sometimes there's items like everything in this. Sometimes there is not. Oh, 
Yeah, there we go. Health. That's always helpful. Anywhere. Ah! Thank you, Teen Shade Forty Three, Lucky no one was for uh, following me. I'll have to invite you to my Discord here in a bit after this demo. How am I gonna put out this fire? I need a lot of water. Uh, fire hydrant nearby. That did it. Now to find out if there's more of them. Spider-Man 10, Nameless Thug Zero. Another shout out for yours truly. The signal for my spider tracer is growing weak. Better take to the rooftops and follow my compass. Yeah, I know. Although the web barrier is kind of helpful in a lot of situations. Is this where the demo ends? No, this might go about as long as the Metal Gear Solid demo. Ah, uh, shit. Where is my clipboard? <laughs> okay, I thought for a second I was boned and I couldn't swing. doesn't fire on its own. <laughs> Am I truly going now? Because I have zero. Or I think I'm on my last web cartridge now. So I am really screwed. Oh, shit. Web cartridge. Okay. Not completely bound. This stage. A lot of these enemies you can just bypass. Thankfully. Something's not right around here. That's all. You got me. And Electro is the leader. Stopping me from Your chase is really heavy, baby. Better take them all out before they hurt someone. <laughs> Yes. 
yes, yes, dear. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oof. Oh! Stop focusing on the game so much, baby! Yeah, let me grab you the, uh, Discord invite here before you go. Cause... And, uh, yeah, this is for the followers of our Discord channel. And this will cut down a little bit on the, uh, Stream here a little bit. I could have grabbed it you had asked. Oh. Yeah, because on the factor of my PC <laughs> right now. I'll grab it. Alright. Yeah, my uh my wife will be grabbing the Oh. Web fist believe or at least helpful ability to increase your attack power. You'll lose them by doing just about anything except attacking. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I think y'all got the gist of, uh, Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. So, let's go on to the next demo here. <laughs> While your audio is way behind what you're actually saying. Well, stream lag. You're hearing me IRL. Babe. And thus, what I say now is about a few seconds ahead of what you'll hear on stream. That's how it always goes. Okay, so we got X-Men Mutant Academy 2, which I don't know if this actually got released. Or if Mabel! this was just... Also, there's the uh, link, by the way. Yeah. So, got you the link. Team Shade. Yeah, now that Discord's opened, now hold up, I'm going to shut down Discord here. So I can do one or the other. I can't have both going here. And that's, folks, why I only do console streams. <laughs> okay, so I guess that demo completely screwed up. Uh, <laughs> and it crashed. So, yeah, there's crashing that happens on consoles, but it's not nearly as much as... Uh, PC. Thus, why I don't really delve hard into PC gaming, really. Hey, gang, do not adjust your screen. I've just temporarily taken over your PlayStation. I'm Maggie, your host, here to introduce you to all the cool things you'll receive for being part of the PlayStation Underground. 
You can look forward to receiving the 411 on new game releases, special offers, plus demos and videos of the latest titles. And you can sign up to receive... God, that internet browser back in the day. <laughs> this is a time capsule of the 90s and early 2000s. So X-Men Mutant Academy 2 crashed it. Now we're on to Barbie Explorer. <laughs> a Barbie Indiana Jones knockoff. This should be quite entertaining. I've never played a Barbie game in my fucking life. Because <laughs> I'm a dude. Although, on the fact that I'm a brony now, like... That shit's gone out the window. Gene Chid 43 hop into the server. Ah, nice. I need their age, though. Oh, yeah, we have an NSFW channel. And you have to, uh... Identify, like, your, uh, date of birth. Okay, so this is exactly what I was thinking this or is gonna DM be. DM me your, DM, uh, me your age. Yeah. Or if you don't want to be part of the NSFW channel or you're under 18, then don't. Okay, yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be, babe. Because look at this. Barbie trying to be Indiana Jones slash Laura Croft. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the red box there? Was that Streamlabs? Yeah. What did it say? Oh, trouble. I'm leaving, or I'm having some trouble functioning as intended to work properly. I need to be modded. You can do this by typing slash mod Streamlabs. Huh. Hey, Streamlabs, stop calling me out. <laughs> there we go. Please refrain from spamming symbols. Ah, that's what's going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Make Streamlabs of mine. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Let's see here. At. Oh. Pff, mine. Oh, babe. Oh, my knee. Oh, my knee. Yeah. Hurt that hurt. Oh. I'm sorry about that. All right. <laughs> Let's see how bad or how good this Barbie game is, because I saw AVGN trying to review a Barbie game what for the NES. Nineteen ninety four. Nineteen ninety four. Yeah, you're good. So that would make them twenty five, right? Twenty five. Uh, no. Uh. That's two years younger than me, so the yeah, twenty-five. All right, I will delete your message from the chat, but I'll just give you the roll. Also, the roll is called "I'm a Big Kid Now," and it seems to crack everybody up. <laughs> yeah, because uh, one of my other that. Discord friends, Rondow created that role. Okay, collecting a bunch of diamonds. Um, okay then. There you go. Now you have Do the you have role. to collect them all? Every that... single channel now. Yeah, this ain't nearly as in-depth. Hey, can we get smashed by the I'm elephant? Confused. That is the question. 
<laughs> Barbie First just got up is kill this love by black <laughs> Barbie just got trampled twice by an elephant. <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> like, do I have to collect everything? Okay, fork in the road. Okay, I'm guessing that's an extra life. Or what? No! I was thinking for a second I'd have to be rocking the D pad back and forth. Uh, so I have to actually get on that thing. Ah! Oh, come on! I was off by a pixel. Come on. Just come on. Ah! Oh my god. What? You're telling me this doll can't fucking swim? And yet you're an you, you you call yourself an explorer, Barbie, yet you can't fucking swim. What? <laughs> I'm gonna pull the chat up on my computer so I can read it. <laughs> so I'm listening to music and doing some art right now. <laughs> Barbie can't fucking swim. <laughs> Wasn't she a lifeguard? Yeah! That's why it makes doubly no sense. Well, that, granted, that was probably after this game. <laughs> okay, true. Oh, shit. We got... What? Oh, God. Barbie's gonna get killed by some big balls. <laughs> You're so. <rude. laughs> oh, you you tell me I can't jump over that. I can jump over the small balls, but not the big ball. What? Oh come on! I wasn't even within its. Jumped over it. How did I clip that? How? 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 I I jumped over that shit. You see this, right? This is utter bullshit. Well, that demo level went swimmingly well. Swimmingly well. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I... A Laura Croft, you ain't. <laughs> well, she's not Laura Croft, she's Barbie. <laughs> but she's trying to... Oh, God, this whole Tomb Raider business. Barbie, leave this shit up to Laura Croft and Indiana Jones. <laughs> Are you ready for some football? <laughs> and I mean American football. Pigskin. Attack my turf for a touchdown. You know what I mean.
excuse me. Mm. Okay, so we got Ravens versus the Giants. I'm not a fan of either team. Oh, well, we just put this to CPU and, uh... Also, for the record, we are accepting, like, little tiny scripts and stuff to, like, read and act out on YouTube as well. So, it's usually one or two people, so... Yeah. One or two people versus scripts. Yeah. We're also doing audiobooks as well. <laughs> you bought in Streamlabs. Yes. We're also doing audiobooks as well that I wrote. Yeah. <clears throat> we did an Animal Crossing one a couple months ago. Yeah, a bit well, after... Uh... Lenny needs to work on his reading skills. <laughs> well, his voice reading skills. I don't do well scripted. <laughs> <laughs> it's an audio book. <laughs> I have a script. Well, I'm trying to do it within character voices, but I'm not the best at that. Maybe voice acting just ain't my gig. I don't know. Yeah, I figured that out when you tried to give uh, Tuxedo Mask Duke, uh, Duke Nukem's voice. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it, that voice don't fit, Mama. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of the Giants or the Ravens, but uh, so this we're doing a CPU match here. But you'll get to see the basics of how this game. Well, if you played Madden NCAA, like any football game in the past twenty years or so. You know how this shit goes. So. Let's see who gets more points by the end of this. <coughs> yeah, I'm on Streamlabs. Um. <laughs> I can edit uh, the moderator settings here from uh, Streamlabs itself here. Oh, Let me see here wait, about Cloud. Did I tell you how much Christmas presents are going to be if Cyber Monday sales aren't a thing? Yeah, you told me. No, I didn't. How much? You ain't going to like it. How much? $332. Oh, shit. And then Nintendo Online is 40 and then... Mabel's Heartworm is 25. Okay, symbol protection I took off. And I'll take off caps protection. Um, Hocus Procus, we're gonna be brocus. I'll, I'll have to mess with the mod menu. Ah, thanks for the host, Marty. And Zamblebox wholesale membership is another ten. So we're gonna be broke. Yeah. In fact, let me do the calculations here. Left. Hot, that's if mom only charges 100 for rent, she charges 200 for rent, that's $41. Yeah. Plus, I don't know how much the rawhide bones are going to be for the pups, so. Can someone answer this for us? Are Cyber Monday sales a thing? 
Like, is stuff on sale on Cyber Monday? Like, the week of the Monday after Black Friday? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how the bot works exactly. Or then it does moderation stuff, so like your basic, uh, like, you know, preventing people from posting paragraphs, anything with symbols, links, you know, words we find negative, you know, like autistic, faggot, that kind of thing. That. Yeah. So, you know. Which, by the way, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, Cyber Monday is a thing. It comes the Monday after Black Friday, which is after Thanksgiving. But is there stuff on sale, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, stuff usually goes on sale that day. I'm just worried about there being nothing left. Yeah, because I bought my, uh, ooh, Giant Sky Interception. Um, oh, anyways. Crap, I'm just worried about there being nothing left. Of I got like you. what's on my list. So I don't know if I should just pay full price at the beginning of the month. Yeah, because stuff might, not, might take too long to get there. I, I get you. All right, Marty. Hmm. 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 Oh, he passes and it's incomplete. So what do you think we should do? Just pay the 333 or wait till Cyber Monday? Wait till Cyber Monday. What if they don't have anything left of stuff I want to get? Or something I want to get and I have to come out with someone else? Just... If it's still available in your cart and you can purchase it, just purchase what you can, and then when the other stuff gets in stock again, December, then go for it. Besides, usually they rush shit in December. But we're ordering it in November. Yeah. So it can all get there by Christmas. Yeah. I also, guess. Also, there would be eight shit. Mabel, no! It's a CPU match. Yeah. There would be. Oh, eight I'll be back, guys. There would be eight shipments. Yeah, give them some commentary, buddy. Eight shipments to order and waste Christmas presents. Good grief. Uh. Yes? I think the dog needed to go outside. Why? Uh, by the time I got to her, she was dropping turns. I think I'm already hosting you, Marty. Well, you can host and you can host at the same time. I know, but he wanted to try hosting you and see if the, uh, Notice pops up in chat. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh, wait, I'm sitting here trying to do my art for a client. Nope, no notification. I just did okay, it. So I'm going to go back to doing my plant stuff now. She needs to come in here. I did host, unhost him and rehost him and then it's my notification.
There we go. I got it distracted. I'm trying not to start singing because I'm worried about you getting copyright claimed. No, if it's off the hell, they won't. All right, if I start singing, I apologize. Get the fox. Yeah, baby. All right. So I got my phone on, so I might start singing randomly. Have we heard the reverse? Yeah. Three twenty-two. I'm in the stream somewhere. Yeah, I I don't know what's up with the stream live spot as of late. I see myself. Too good for his help. Gonna kill off Cuphead. Gonna make him. Gonna kill off Cuphead. It's the devil of the devil. It's coming to you today. Both Warp Zone and Random Encounters put out some good shit for music. Alright, so it looks like Baltimore has three. Well, New York has nothing. Yeah, I don't know why the uh, the host notification ain't working. Yeah. Let me test with it here. Or at least parts of it. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Well, it plays, but I don't know why. Yeah, because I'm doing test widget right now, and. It seems to work, so I don't know what the hell is going on. Now we're on to twist metal small brawl, folks. Let's get on to some wonderful RC car carnage. By the way, my wife absolutely hates sweet tooth. Promise not to murder, just a friend or call a murder. I steal a sultry little brat, I think. Was new and no sign of my senpai. Even naked, I'm all behind my back. For her a shower, then we'll turn up. We're new. Things and get us oh, I guess that was just a video. And Dragon Warrior 7, I think, is just a video, too. This game has not yet been rated. Uh, this is before Squaresoft acquired NX. Obsession, possession, 
It's an enormous gas. No reason schools full of mermaid tools. Now, is there much of a difference between Dragon Warrior and Dragon Quest? Because I think it's actually the same game, because it's like the same font and everything. Wait, I'm seeing the green hero. And the red hero. Oh, there's all four of them. But, uh... I forget. Hey, Marty, which, uh... Was any of the models of the hero from, uh... DQ7? Because I completely forgot. Time. Hmm, something big coming from the hole. Okay. And I think they'll end it for tonight for this stream. It says all the demos, all the download station, all the cool moves. So Next time, we will be looking at the first volume, first issue of PlayStation Underground, Matt.